I'm Danny Gurry, and you've tuned in to Good Morning Frederick. It's a podcast, well, about Frederick. Everything, the people, the businesses, the nonprofits, and the cool stuff. So sit back, relax, and enjoy Good Morning Frederick. I'm Sue Shepard from Stalmy Suit Consignments, and you're watching Good Morning Frederick. Ah, yes. Good morning, Frederick. Today is Wednesday, September 4th, and I'm your host, Danny Gurry. Well, it is the month of Virgos right now. It is my birthday month, my birthday week, my sister's birthday week, my niece's birthday week, um, my good friend's birthday week. I'm telling you, I know a lot of people born in September. I don't know, what do they say? It's the uh, holidays, like Christmas and New Year's, I guess, that leads to a lot of September babies. <laughs> so I am one of them, and uh, yeah, enjoying uh, my birthday week so far. Here's a rundown of today's show. Got some giveaways for you. Also gonna obviously go over what's happening in Frederick because there are so many things going on uh, this week, this weekend and even early on, uh, early next week that we're gonna talk about. Today, I talk with Mike Price from Special Olympics Frederick County. He's got a new youth program uh, and they're looking for participants. Uh, Sue Shepard from Style Me Sue Consignments. She is here as well. And that's a really cool store. Uh, not only a place uh, for you to pick up great regular everyday clothes, but formal wear as well. And you can also consign formal wear. Uh, Brooke is here from Courageous Cash Foundation to tell us about an event happening on Saturday to raise money for them. And she'll talk about a little bit about what that foundation does and who it helps. And my husband and I recap Twisters, the 2024 version. We saw that last night in 4DX, thanks to Regal Westview Cinemas. And boy, was that uh, a fun time. And uh, yeah, can't wait, can't wait for you to hear, hear that one. All right, need you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are on our way to 1,000. I would love to get there by the end of this month. I can only do it if you ask a friend or two to subscribe today or ask them, have you heard of Good Morning Frederick? Have you watched it yet? I get a lot of people that tell me, oh, I'm so sorry, I ha can't watch every morning, you know, all that good stuff. Hey, look, it's okay, I get it. Life is busy, things happen, um, but you can catch it anytime, 24 seven easiest is on the YouTube channel. That's why going to YouTube and subscribing to YouTube is easier because if you click on the tab that says live, you can see every single show in their order. And then of course, if you just click on videos, and this is all on YouTube, if you click on videos, you're gonna see uh, all the videos that are posted, including each individual segment. And that will give you, you know, kind of, if you're searching for something in particular, and actually, let me do this. I'm just gonna, sh I'm gonna share our YouTube channel. Uh, we, we just actually, uh, we're just at about 130,000 total views across all of our platforms. And that is just um, counting our, lot, our one hour shows, right? It's just counting our one hour shows. I don't count all the shorts and everything else. But you can see right now we're live. But if you're on the YouTube channel, look, we got 767 subscribers, hooray. Thank you guys all for watching and subscribing. Appreciate all you new subscribers who have jumped on. Would love to see you leave a comment and let us know what is happening, where you're watching from, um, and what you're looking forward to maybe, or maybe what you wanna see. Anyway, you can see these tabs along here. This all has to do with just the channel, Everything Frederick Live. Now you might be asking, why isn't the channel called Good Morning Frederick? Well, my thought process in all of this back in late March, before we launched, was Everything Frederick Live would hold content from a lot of different creators, okay? Good Morning Frederick might kick things off each morning. Maybe we have somebody that does something once a week 
or maybe we have somebody that gives a sports update specifically just for Frederick, or maybe somebody just covers our local hiking and outdoors and recreation and fitness and whatever it is, right? So I am looking for content creators who want to do that, but they would all be housed initially under everything Frederick Live. And then that way you're going to see content from tons of different people. But for the time being, it is good morning, Frederick. So this navigation bar, the home video shorts live, this all has to do just with our channel. So if you want to search for somebody that you thought I covered or interviewed or whatever, you use this search bar here okay this upper search bar here is for all of youtube so i know it's a little confusing but this upper top level search here above everything frederick lives um can you see that i'm clicking there i know you can't see my mouse but the top level if i'm searching here for good morning frederick okay that is all gonna search all of youtube okay rather than this one where you can search for uh possum pets let's say right and you're gonna see when you return that you're only getting the returns from our channel all right so same as the lives this is showing you all the lives in order every single one we have done so that is the full one hour show Whereas videos is everything. So you can see our podcast is here in blue. The, I don't know why YouTube does that, but you can click here and see the entire podcast. This is, this is all of them. Oh God, I don't want to play that. Okay, that's going to be kind of crazy. But anyway, so you get what I'm saying, right? So anyway, that's our YouTube channel, how to use it. Uh, on the home screen, when you go there, you will see uh, all of our shorts. I do cut shorts uh, from a lot of our different shows. If you wanna see any of those, uh, some of those actually get pretty good views. I posted some just recently. Uh, you can see our popular videos. Sarah Coleman is one of our most viewed uh, segments. So you can see that. And then you can see our playlists at the very bottom. So I have things separated out. If you're looking for things to do in Frederick, if you're looking for a downtown Frederick business or an auto repair, travel agents, nonprofits, and so on and so forth. So things are broken up uh, by gift ideas, distilleries, animals, restaurants and food trucks, etc. So anyway, that is the YouTube channel. Uh, but yeah, we are, um, I will make a huge announcement when we hit 150,000 total views. Hopefully that'll be in the next week or so. Um, it's pretty, pretty amazing. I have to go through, you know, we stream right now. We're on eight different places. We're on six Facebook pages. We're on YouTube, of course, and we're also on LinkedIn. So I have to go through and compile all of those numbers separately to get our totals again, just on the live streams alone. All right, don't forget about that podcast. Again, you can listen on the YouTube podcast platform or iHeart, Amazon, Spotify, and other streaming platforms as well. The new 100 show shirts are at the home of everything, Frederick. You can get one tonight. We're there for our social networking from five to seven or Thursday to Sunday, the shop is open. Um, all proceeds uh, that are collected will be donated to Christmas Cash for Kids on sales now through December. Uh, and in support of another local nonprofit, please drop off any new bedding donations, twin sized, please. Sheets, blankets, comforters, pillows, sheet sets, all that good stuff. Drop that off to the home of Everything Frederick, which is 401 North Market Street. We are collecting for Sleep in Heavenly Peace now through September. And uh, we would love to fill that bin for those kids. They build those beds for uh, kids in Frederick, so they're not sleeping on the floor. All right, I think that's about it to get things started. So let's really start the show.
All right, I want to thank We Help You Move. Whether you're moving across the street or somewhere around the country, Nicholas and his team of moving experts can make that process way easier than normal. If you see somebody on social media saying, hey, do you recommend a mover? You can say, good morning, Frederick recommends We Help You Move. Veteran owned and a great supporter of this Frederick community, wehelpyoumove.com. All right, got giveaways for you. We've got those four family four pack of tickets to Gaver Farm, which is open now uh, for your fall fest fun. Text farm if you want to win that. We've got the Jack Pass to Frederick Fair. I actually have 10 of those to give away. So we are giving away one every day. Text Jack to 888-465-2944. That gets you an all-you-can-ride wristband plus admission to the Frederick Fair. Now, if your child is 10 and under, they get in free. So you can use the admission to the fair and they can use the ride wristband to save you from buying those tickets and paying out the wazoo. Because I'm telling you, each ride is like $4 or $5. So... You might as well get the all-you-can-ride wristband. Now, the Jack Pass is only being sold on the website until Friday the 13th at 5 o'clock. They stop sales at 5 p.m. That is when the fair officially opens. You have to buy your Jack Pass before the fair opens. And we're going to talk a little bit more about the Great Frederick Fair coming up next week, talking about the traffic. What best way to go? All the free things that you can do. I'm going to remind you about Karen's, uh, we will probably uh, re-show Karen's interview to talk about all the great things you can do for free once you get into the Frederick Fair. All right, text. You can text 24 hours a day, 888-465-2944. I'd love to give you the Maryland Lottery scratch-offs or the Tree Trekkers three-hour uh, pass, which is good for the entire season. You can text all of those words that are highlighted to 888-465-2944. All right, let's talk about now uh, what is happening in Frederick. And oh boy, is there a lot. Happening in Frederick is sponsored today by Intense Barbecue. They are a family-owned barbecue food truck and catering company. They cook in small batches to make sure the food is the freshest it can be. You can find them at IntenseBarbecue.com. That's I-N, the number one, the number zero, S-E, barbecue.com. Satisfy your meat tooth. I want to wish uh, Rob and Robin had a birthday. Uh, they share the same birthday. Uh, last Saturday, Ash and I uh, headed over to their birthday party that they threw for themselves. And uh, it was great fun. Got to see a lot of the other food truck owners and operators, which is nice during a social occasion. I want to tell you, too, they put together this very cool, if you were having a party, this was very cool. It was a barbecue kind of buffet, but it was they had recipes so you could make barbecue nachos. So they had like the chips, like even Fritos and Tostitos and other things. And then your toppings so you could make barbecue nachos. You could make a barbecue, all kinds of things. You can customize your own parfait. So Intense Barbecue was the first time I'd ever had one of the meat parfaits, which is in a cup layered with the coleslaw, the beans, the barbecue in one thing. Well, you could make your own and you could put on as much or as little as you wanted. Great idea for a party. Let me tell you, they've done catering for years. I'm talking 15 years they've done catering. They've done the food truck for several years as well. They know a lot, so if you're looking for somebody to cater a local uh, an event you're having, they can do it for sure. Intense barbecue. All right, let's talk about the events happening in this great 
town of Frederick. And I am telling you, it's quite funny. I think I was talking with Kat from Troy Fest, which is happening this weekend. And at the time we were chatting, she was like, oh yeah, there's not much happening on September 7th. Well, I have no idea what happened, but now we have more than 73, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 79 events just on our calendar. I have no idea what is happening in the rest of Frederick. Uh, that If it's not on my calendar, I have no idea. But uh, right here on our calendar, we've got a ton of events. Um, okay, you can see a lot of these family, toddler, baby story time, preschool story time, these are all offered by Frederick County Public Libraries. Sometimes they look like they're repeated. This one is at Thermont. This toddler story time at 1030. This toddler story time at 1015 is at Urbana. So we have a lot of different libraries, which means a lot of them do run similar programming. So I occasionally do actually duplicate on accident, but uh, most of the time it is because it's a different location. You can do story time with a police officer. That is today at 1030 in Brunswick. That would be fun. A police officer reads a story to the kiddos. Uh, they also, let's see, Soul Yoga is also at the Seber Arts Library. I love the fact that you can do some yoga. I mean, that is amazing. 11 a.m., that's for the adults. Soul Yoga at 11 a.m. at Seber Arts library. Um, we've also got the historic homes tour in Emmitsburg at 1230 today. This is great time of year. Now, if you're an empty nester or retired and you want to do all the things because kids are back in school and you won't have all those school groups or lots of traffic to deal with, you can head up to Emmitsburg 1230 today to check out that historic homes tour. And you can see they also run them at noon, 1230, and again at 330, oh, and at 215. So several uh, opportunities for you to take advantage of that. I also love that the library offers uh, some classes. This is the ILR um, Learning and Retirement class that FCC does. Uh, but they do a class at the Brunswick Branch Library uh, where you can learn about AI. That's kind of cool. Uh, you can check that out at Brunswick today at 1 o'clock. They also have really cool things like knitting. You can do beginner knitting in Urbana at 1 o'clock today. And then if you've already learned something a little bit and you're beyond beginner in Urbana at 2.30, you can do that class. I, I just freaking, I the library is phenomenal. Really phenomenal. All right, uh, let's see. Cocktails and conversations. That is this evening, 5 to 7 at 401 North Market Street, the home of everything Frederick. Come by this evening. Mama Cone and I will be there and uh, we look forward to meeting you. I look forward to this every month because I always meet someone new. I love that. I love that different people just come on out to this event. Um, maybe because it's in the evening, I don't know, but uh, I love the fact that we get some new faces and new businesses that we get to connect with. And that is this evening, five to seven come on out and it is such a busy busy week for everybody so totally understand if you can't make it but we would love to see you um last game final game for the frederick keys is this evening at seven o'clock at harry grove stadium then they wrap up their season if you uh want to head out there and catch the last game at least it's not blazing hot that is the one thing about right now that is uh, pretty good there at uh, watching baseball this time of year. All right, uh, tomorrow there is a morning meeting for WISH, the ladies of WISH, uh, women inspiring, shaping, helping. Uh, I can't remember. But anyway, our friend Stacy Reno, who we interviewed, uh, is going to be talking about uh, Downsizing Simplified. She does that class at FCC as well. Um, she's going to be talking about living smaller and loving it. That is at 745. They have that meeting at Canapes. 
at 550 Highland Street. Uh, if you want to attend there, you are more than welcome. It is just for the ladies, though, that one. Um, let's see. Coffee and Cocktail Connections meeting at 830 at Dutch's Daughter. Uh, they meet in the dungeon. That is a good, uh, another really good networking group that has some different people in it. If you kind of do the typical networking, um, I don't know, circuit, really. There's a circuit of people for sure uh, that uh, go, but coffee and kind, I'm, I'm so bummed I can never make those, but um, I hear it's a really great group. I go to their evening uh, networking occasionally as well. Uh, because tomorrow is Thursday, you can do free Pilates on the Creek at 915. Uh, the Toned Studio is doing a Matt Pilates class right on the Creek, Carroll Creek Amphitheater. You can check that out. Now, tomorrow evening, I am going to be at Alive at 5. This is, uh, we're going to have a big group of people there. Um, some friends from high school, friends coming in to visit. Mama Cone and I are going to be there. My husband Ash is coming as well. It is the uh, special delivery band is playing. I think it's going to be a nice evening. It's probably going to be very packed. So I'm going to give you some pro tips. First, as soon as you get to Alive at 5, you pay your $6. Go straight to the token line. Buy the tokens. Buy all the tokens, okay? Buy more than you think you're going to need because you don't want to stand in that line again. And your tokens are good for the entire season and through the first month of next year. That means all of May next year, your tokens are also good. Otherwise, it's a donation to the Downtown Frederick Partnership. But you're going to want to get that. You're going to want to get your beverage, whether it's beer, whether it's wine, or whether it's cocktails. They do have uh, 10th Ward and I think McClintock mixed cocktails on uh, site there. And then you're going to want to go straight to the food truck and order your food and get all that ready to go. So you got that out of the way. All right. 5 to 8 p.m. Downtown Frederick Partnership. It's their largest fundraiser series. And uh, I think they've had some light events this year. So this will be a good one for them uh, to put some money in the coffers. Um, you can also head to WFRE's Country on the Creek, uh, right after or in the middle of 7 to 9 p.m. They're at Shuck and Shack Oyster Bar. Uh, could be where the after party is for sure, for sure. All right, Friday, birthday, but you can do a bunch of stuff. The Fry Yay Garden Galore at the Walkersville Public Library at 11 a.m. That's for kids five and under. They do... Uh, a lot of fun stuff out in the garden there. Um, you can also head to Fridays at the Fountain. That is from 5 to 8 p.m. Monocacy Brewing on Market Street. That's really a lot of fun, especially when the weather's nice. It is really a good time. Uh, or you can check out Music in the Village, 5 to 8 p.m. at Warman's Mill. Lots of places in Frederick to get your music fill. It is absolutely uh, quite awesome to see all the music that's coming to town. All right. Uh, I don't know if they still have tickets for this, but I was talking with the people from uh, Barnyard Band and Booze, and this is an event that happens the first Friday of every month, June to October. Tonight is the Amish Outlaws. Now, if you've not seen the Amish Outlaws, they are the party band of all party bands. And I love the fact that this is these are the types of bands that they book at Green Meadows Petting Farm right on Fingerboard Road. You can either go to this one, you got to buy your tickets, or the last one is October 4th with Stick Time, which is another fun party band. So you get to have an adult day at Green Meadows. You can share an evening, really at Green Meadows. That is this Friday night. All right, Saturday. I cannot go through all the events. I just simply cannot. You can see, though, there are tons. It, you can kick it off with the Kenyan Challenge. That's our friend Karen Justice doing that event at 830. You can carry a gallon of water one mile. Uh, we've got, I mean, there is the fifth annual flower festival at Summers Farm is another thing going on. You can, uh, if you are entering 
uh, the Frederick Fair Beer, Wine, Mead, and Cider. You can enter those on Saturday from 10 to 2 as well at the Frederick Fairgrounds. The 34th Annual Corvettes are at Westridge as well on Saturday. From I mean, did everybody just get the memo that Saturday, September 7th was the day? And to be honest, right now, weather not looking great. So unfortunate for a lot of these events, the outdoor events as well. Uh, Troy Fest is going on. They are rain or shine. It is noon to 8 p.m. They do have a huge pavilion at the Amvets Farm. It is really a great location. Um, I they, they have a covered pavilion. Uh, they've got a lot of cover beside the pavilion. So there will be some space where you can sit under the cover if it does rain on Saturday. They are rain or shine. It's a great fundraiser. They will have music and beer, food, raffle, and vendors all day long to 8 o'clock. Wrapping up with Jaw Works. And if you've not seen Jaw Works, they are a great, fun band. Uh, it is also first Saturday on the 7th, so you can head pretty much downtown Frederick to any local uh, downtown Frederick merchant. They will be having specials and all kinds of fun stuff happening on Saturday afternoon. All right, uh, if you're a Mountaineers football fan, you can watch at the official watch location, which is the Orioles Nest on West Patrick Street, 6 o'clock. You can head over there, get your seats. They will have the game on for you. And they've got that free family drive-in at 7th Street. Uh, you can check that out. I believe that one does go rain or shine as well. It's nice to be sitting in your car if it is raining or sprinkling a little bit. All right, on Sunday, again, you can see lots of great events going on. You have some goat yoga that you can check out. How about heroes and pastries at St. Peter's and St. Peter and Paul, Greek Orthodox, right on 7th Street. They have that going on as well. To be honest, I think the last time they were here, it rained too. Maybe it's them. I don't know. No, I think Sunday is supposed to be gorgeous, actually, unfortunately, for the events on Saturday. Um, and let's see what else. They've got, uh, uh, oh, coach ball game. That's right. Sunday, 3 o'clock uh, at Lotes Park, right next to Keys Stadium. You want to get your child registered for that. We interviewed him, so you can go on YouTube, search Coach Ball Game, and see how we chatted with him about uh, this great event and his whole idea about making baseball fun. Teaching fundamentals, teaching uh, some good things uh, to instill, but it really looks amazing. All right, Monday. One thing I do want to tell you about is I am doing a town hall every Monday, well, every Monday that a candidate signs up. These are with the Board of Education candidates that will be up for election in November. So if you remember, we had the primary, six got through, and I believe at the election, four get through. So uh, we will, uh, I've been reaching out to all the candidates to get them to sign up. This first one is uh, Colt Black. And uh, that is Monday at the home of everything, Frederick, 5.30 to 7. Now, I will be streaming the town hall uh, on uh, YouTube at least, probably Facebook as well in the group Everything Frederick and More. And you can ask your questions if you don't want to come in. We do have room for about 20 people to hang out if you want to be in person to get your questions asked and you want to meet Colt Black uh, your Board of Ed candidates. Look, if you've got kids at FCPS, even if they're older and they're going to be gone soon, really important for you to know your Board of Education candidates. Ask them the questions. If there's anything that concerns you, school has already started. So I do know some parents are already having concerns about certain things happening in schools. I'm here to help you get access to them and ask the questions that you want them to answer before you head to the polls in November. All right, and let me just, there's a couple of things coming up. Uh, of course, in the street, September 14th, 
You're going to be able to get a free Good Morning Frederick t-shirt, tank, or tumbler. All you got to do is stop by and see us. There's only a couple things you have to do that are simple, and you've probably already done them. So you're going to be able to get them there. Uh, also, save the date, September 12th. Get your tickets now. Cozy Castle Tea and Tour. You get to tour Karen Hillman's 1920s home, the Cozy Castle. Remember, I went there. She's amazing. A portion of the proceeds from the tickets benefit Christmas Cash for Kids. And uh, you get to see the beautifully restored home. Um, you, you will feel like you have left Frederick and entered another galaxy altogether. You get to enjoy a cup of tea and cookies in the garden gazebo. There are six slots available. And uh, they start at 3 o'clock for 45 minutes. So you get some private time, one-on-one -on -one time with Karen Hillman. So get your tickets to that now. And also, I want you to register for the Key City Foundation Oktoberfest 5K Fun Run, which is October 5th. If you have an event you want to include it on the calendar, just email it to everythingfredericlive at gmail.com. Or if you don't see an event on our calendar that should be, tag me on social media, and I try to look through all of those it's easiest if you message me, then I'm definite to see it. All right, quick break. Then it's all, oh, quick break. And then, then we're back with Mike Price, Sue Shepard, Brooke from Courageous Cash Foundation, and Ash and I give our recap of Twisters. All of that is coming up just after this. <laughs> It's time to find out who's doing good in the neighborhood. This segment of Doing Good in the Neighborhood is sponsored by The Healing Storm. Channa and her team strive to create an environment where you're seen, valued, and heard. Now, the Healing Storm focuses on alternative holistic healing methods to relieve your stress and pain. Massage therapy, Reiki, lymphatic massage, and a healing journey program. Shannon had pain herself, and this is how she found a way to cope with the pain and help get some relief. Check out thehealingstorm.com for all the appointments and detail oh, for all the details and to schedule an appointment. The Healing Storm, a place to unwind, recharge through alternative healing. All right, Mike Price is a coach with Special Olympics Frederick County, and he's here to announce the new youth sports program launching, and he's looking for participants. Are you one? I don't know. Let's find out. Here is Mike Price. Sports equipment, and since then we've stayed in I met my next guest several years ago uh, when I found out the Special Olympics team needed some sports equipment. And since then, we've stayed in touch. I'm happy to welcome Mike Price to Good Morning Frederick. Hi, Mike. How are you? Hi, Danny. Thanks for having me. Oh, my pleasure. All right. So you, uh, how did you get started with Special Olympics? So it was actually a, a friend from high school, Megan Schaefer. She's the main coach for Frederick County Special Olympics. Uh, she emailed me and my buddy one day about um, needing some help with being volunteer partners for our adult unified sports league. And so we came out um, for the first couple of years, we played 
basketball, football, uh, and softball for uh, the Unified League. And then um, in 2014, we, we actually made it to the national championship for softball and somehow won that. So it was uh, shortly after that, I decided to, you know, I was too old to keep up with these guys. So I switched to coaching and I've been doing that ever since. That's amazing. Really, what a commitment. And did like, you, were you aware of Special Olympics before you started all this journey? Definitely not to that degree. You know, I've heard of it, obviously. And I I, I think I knew Megan was involved with it, just with the, the athletes that I went to school with who are still in the league to this day, some of them. Um, but no, I, I wasn't too um, involved or, or too knowledgeable of exactly what they did. And certainly where they've come to, to today, you know, how, how far they've expanded the programs, you know, they've definitely come a long way over the past 20 years. Yeah. So, I mean, as an outsider, not, I'm not very familiar either. So the one thing obviously that I, I think of the Olympics part, right? The one kind of event, but it, this is a consistent year round program. Yep. Year round, we offer, um, Frederick County alone offers over 20 different sports um, from football to basketball to kayaking, uh, skiing, bowling, you know, you name it. You know, there's a, a program for everybody. But it's not just team sports that we do. We, we also do what we call uh, skills or individual skills for those athletes that are too disabled to participate in team drills. We also have a, a young athletes program for the younger children, ages one to seven, but we've, we've never had a program for uh, unified sports for ages eight to 15, but that's all due to change this year now that we're planning to launch our first ever youth league starting. That's, this <laughs> yeah, so exciting. So I'm assuming this, you know, it's been something uh, you guys have wanted to do. What? What was the, I guess, thing that made it happen now? Do you know? Uh, just talking with Megan and, and, you know, it was Megan's big dream to do this. And, and then we had a conversation at the beginning of this year. And really all it was is let's just do it. Let's stop <laughs> talking about it. Let's pull the trigger. So we, we worked together. We put together a proposal, a five-year plan at the beginning of the year. Our management team uh, approved it with flying colors and, and, um, we're, we're going to do a little bit of a slow roll for year one. Uh, we're starting with basketball this fall, and then by next summer, we're going to pull in flag football. But by year two, we're going to bring in soccer and softball. So after year two, we'll have a full year schedule that's going to mimic our adult unified sports program. So that, for, like, yeah. Yeah, for all ages now, there's no more gaps. Um, everyone's going to have a program available to them moving forward. That's fantastic because, yeah, having that gap was probably difficult not only for the participants, but the families and things like that. You kind of miss out on a bunch of years. So, oh, yeah. I mean, for skills athletes, that's really all ages. But for those, right, that participate in team sports, there was that eight year gap, you know, that they're just kind of sitting idle waiting to qualify for the adult league, which, you know, we always knew we wanted to address. So how can Frederick support what you're doing uh, with this new league? Uh, really, uh, with, with any league, it, the key is sustainability, right? So we had a couple of auctions and uh, fundraisers at the beginning of the year. We had a really positive art auction that we raised a lot of money for. But really, it, it's what the community gets, gives back to us. Um, I recently put a post on everything, Frederick. Um, about how we reached out to the community in one place in particular, um, played against sports. I talked to the owner, Chris, there to see if he'd be able to help us out. And they didn't even hesitate. Like right then and there, he offered to donate two dozen brand new basketballs for the league, a couple basketball uh, bags. So that's all the equipment we needed to get the season underway. And then other people throughout the, throughout the uh, community there was another lady that's donating three brand new basketball racks and about a dozen new basketballs. We had a similar experience with you, Danny, when you had reached out to the public last year for soccer. The Frederick community in general has been nothing but positive and supportive with helping us get whatever we need to succeed. And we really appreciate all their help. 
Oh, yeah. I mean, it's the least we can do. These are members of our community and, you know, we want to make sure not only that they're, they have activities to participate in, but they have everything they need. So you guys are now set, you think, for the basketball season? Yep. The gym is booked. It's going to run from late October to uh, middle of December. I believe it's nine weeks total. Okay. And we plan on having both a, a JV and varsity team again for ages eight through 15. It's a unified league. So again, it's going to be athletes with disabilities and those without playing together on one team with a focus on inclusion. But we're certainly still looking for uh, more partners to volunteer. Um, okay. So that's how we can help too. So if you, uh, and actually, I mean, I, I would say, are you full for uh, people with disabilities from those ages or you nope. can see? Okay. We, so people can never, still register. Correct. Yeah. And, and we do have a Facebook group set up for the, if you just want to search the Frederick Unified Sports Youth League, you can find us there. Uh, there is an interest form that people can fill out, whether they want to be an athlete or a partner. We're also looking for volunteer coaches and full-time coaches if, if they're interested, but we're always looking for help. Uh, yes. anybody, anybody that is interested is welcome to join us. Oh, that's great. And is there a minimum aid? Like if there was a young adult uh, who wanted to coach or volunteer, could they? Um, for coaches, typically um, they're adults, but we are working with our our unified adult league for some of our athletes to actually get that experience as well. So a lot of the athletes we've been coaching in the adult league, we're going to be training them up and they're going to be assisting us in this program as well. So it's kind of as you grow in the program, but we're certainly looking for people outside the program as well. Anybody that's interested, I would say at least 16. Okay. If, if not older, um, but no, we're always looking for assistance. Well, that is, I think, an easy task for us to do to support this wonderful program. Where do you guys um, play or practice? So depending on the sport, um, you know, that's always a challenge of us booking those gyms and those fields throughout the year. Uh, Shannon, our, our coordinator, you know, she probably pulls her hair out try, trying to get this all coordinated for all the, again, 20 plus sports throughout the season. Yeah. Trying to get it all booked. Um, I know at least for this initial inaugural season for basketball, we're going to be at that Rock Creek school in Walkersville. Uh, but it, it does vary from year to year. It it's gotcha. really depends on the availability of the space. Yeah, absolutely. Well, if there was one thing you'd want people watching to know about Special Olympics and this new youth league in Frederick County, what would you want that to be? Just the whole spirit of, of the games, you know, of, of both athletes with and without disability playing together, um, a focus on inclusion, right? That, you know, these guys are awesome. They just want to participate as well. And we want to make sure that we have a program for everybody, right? That no one's going to be left out in the cold, that no matter what the age, uh, from one all the way through an adult, that we've got a home for you here in Frederick County moving forward for any type of sport that you want to play. Well, I think that is a wonderful uh, direction that you guys are going. And you know, anytime I'm going to put the call out for athletes, volunteers, people to register. Um, this season, you said starts mid October, late October, late October. Okay, great. So we will put the call out and make sure people are aware that you guys are looking and I'll make sure and share the Facebook group and all of that as well. We appreciate all you've done for Special Olympics of Frederick County. I think it's, you know, a great dedication you've had and uh, taking that call from your friend, I would say has probably impacted your life uh, in more ways than you can imagine. Oh, for sure. And, and my, my oldest son, Benji, He's autistic, so he's actually going to be one of the first athletes that I'll get to coach in this new youth league. So. Oh, that's awesome. Which makes it even more exciting. Oh, gosh, yes, that is excellent. Well, Mike, look, we wish you all the best with this. You know, I'm always here for you if you need anything, and uh, hopefully we can fill some of these spots for you. Thanks, Danny, and thanks, everybody, for all your support. We really appreciate it.
All right. Gotta love that. I want to thank Mike for his dedication to the participants uh, and to coaching because we know, we know it's tough to get coaches out there. All right. We got some people making our market phenomenal. We're going to talk about them right now. Oh, Market Makers is sponsored by the Great Frederick Fair coming next Friday, September 13th. Yes, I know. To the 21st. All right. Tickets are on sale for all the live events like Flo Rida, Bachman Turner Overdrive, Tracy Lawrence with Sarah Evans, Beach Boys, Riley Green, Casting Crowns. Also, you want to get your jack passes ahead of time if you've got kids who want to ride the rides. You're going to want to get them this. It's going to save you some money. Go to greatfrederickfair.com. Uh, and, um, oh, she said thegreatfrederickfair.com, didn't she? I always thought it was greatfrederickfair.com. Okay, thegreatfrederickfair.com. Go to the website. Make sure you are only buying your concert tickets, either from somebody you know, if somebody is selling them, or you get them direct from etix.com. That is the official uh, site for the Great Frederick Fair events. Otherwise, they cannot guarantee that your tickets are valid. Now, there's going to be a lot going on because one of the streets is closed due to, due to construction. That's going to not allow you to go kind of from the Frederick Airport, Monocacy Boulevard through the back way to the fair, which is going to cause some headaches. So you're going to want to pack your patience with everything else. All right. GreatFrederickFair.com. All right, Sue runs a consignment shop, but her reasoning for helping people clean out their closets goes deeper than just a sale. All right, I want you to meet Sue from Style Me Sue Consignments. Ask us right on Main Street with Sue. How gorgeous does she look? I love the color. I love the this sort of sleeve. I am at Style Me Sue, which is a consignment store right here in Damascus. Not far from Jimmy Cohn, actually. That's right. <laughs> Everybody knows Jimmy. Everybody knows Jimmy Cohn. Well, thank you so much for having oh, no. me here today. Uh, so clothing. Has that oh have you always been, even when you were younger, like somebody who put a look together or, you know, was able to kind of take things? You know, it's funny. I I've always loved fashion, but mm. Not the outfit, but I can remember one of my earliest memories, and I tell this story in the store a lot, is when I was three, I lost a red purse in the woods. And my dad was like, why do you have a purse? Well, you never know what you're going to need, right? But a red purse, we lost it in the woods. <laughs> wow. So I've always... That's a core of you like, attached to that. I've loved purses and jewelry for as long as I can remember. Yeah. Plus, I don't remember so much because yeah. I've always been hard. Purses for me, too. I don't... What is it about purses? Purses is, is like a lifeline for women and coats, believe it or not. Yeah, I'm not a coat. It's not for me, coats. Purses and... Yeah, it's definitely bags. My mom always looked really good. Yeah, that's nice. And yeah. yeah. So you kind of did the corporate thing for a while and then you figured out, hey, I think I can I can do something around people looking good here in Damascus. Absolutely. Well, you know, it's funny because I think I have more more customers from everywhere else more than here in town. Oh, really? Uh huh. I'm I'm here because I live here. Yeah. So you live in the area, and I also love these windows. Yeah, the windows are nice. Oh, yeah. They look right out onto the street. Absolutely. Uh, so you decided, hey, there there here's a space for some retail, and this was uh, eight eight and a half years ago. Mm -hmm. it, it was, eight, you were here eight years in April. Eight years ago. Wow, that's good. I'm proud of that. I'm really proud of that. You should be. Thank you. Yeah, because, you know, to, retail is difficult, you know. So did you have any background in retail at all? Um, retail, yes, not brick and mortar. Okay. Yeah, because there's a big stressor. You got bills to pay when you have a space like yeah. this, right? Yes. So tell me about your thought process on the clothing that you accept, because we were talking a little bit earlier about your point of differentiation to some other types of stores like this 
What is your thought process kind of when you came into this, you said, I want to do. When we, when I, even before I started, I decided that I wanted to have something for the typical woman. When we started eight and a half years ago, there were a good handful of consignment stores around. That's not really true today, but there were a lot of high end and a lot of thrift stores when we started. And I decided that I wanted to clothe the typical woman. Uh, we have a lot of J. Crew, Banana Republic, Chico's, um, that, Talbots, um, Ann Taylor. I take that back. We don't do real well with Talbots in here. Ann Taylor, that kind. But it wasn't so much a store that just to have clothing. I wanted to go a little deeper. Um, as a stylist by, tr sorry, as a stylist by trade, I wanted to go from my my personal experience when I would go into people's homes and I was helping them edit their closet and it was they would have so much and they didn't know what to do with the things that were gifts they didn't want to offend whoever gave it to them they would have things that were too expensive that they didn't want to go right to donate or they had too many things that they had bought on sale and they didn't know what to do with it so they had so much and so my store Certainly, you can find a lot of great things, but really a lot of things that are new with tags or barely worn. So my thought press process, number one, is to help you let go of things that are just cluttering your closet, things that you've worn a couple of times. So not only are you letting go of things, but you're uncluttering your, your brain. Mm. And so I like to say that you are letting go of things and you're you're helping girlfriends that you've not even met yet find your things and it's just work so i'm a stepping stone to allowing you to donate because if it doesn't sell in here after a certain amount of time i don't even give you the option to have it back i'm, I'm not even <laughs> once it's out of your house I'm that's not, it <laughs> i'm not even tempting you with the exception of better purses because yeah you know if you bring a really really great person i do give you the opportunity to have it back but then i follow it up with by saying what are you going to do with it? Right. You know, and if you say, well, I'm going to let my sister have it or I'm going to let my best friend have it, then of course I'm going to let, you know, you're going to have the opportunity to have it back. Yeah. But I am going to let it go to donate on your behalf. Yeah. The store doesn't get any opportunity or any benefit from something that goes to, do to donate. Mm -hmm. It gets donated. It's on your behalf. And at the end of the calendar year, if you like a tax receipt, just let me know and you get a tax. Rate. Yeah, that's pretty good. Look, I do think the decluttering, the one in, one out rule, it, it's very easy to find yourself drowning literally under your stuff. And so uh, knowing that uh, some of your things will get a second life or a second home with somebody else is awesome. Now, one other thing that you have here that most other stores don't is the formal wear. Absolutely. We're, we're very well known for our formal wear. I like to call it uh, the mother of the somebody dresses. But the reality is we have cocktail wear. We have short and long cocktail wear. If you're going to a, I was going to say a gala, who goes to a gala? But if you're, um, if you are in need of a fancy dress, we have it. If your daughter, granddaughter is looking for a prom dress, we have it. Our our prom dresses, and we all know what a prom dress looks like. We really try to keep those off the floor until January. We try not to even accept those until January. Short homecoming dresses, um, we have those. And we actually do accept formal wear on a walk-in basis. We really try not to take much of anything on a walk-in. Everything is by appointment only, with the exception of formal wear and better purses. Um, some things, there is a handful of other things we take on a walk, and if you're interested, you're welcome to call, but mm. appointments. Yeah. Um, so we, we try to have a good variety of formal wear all the time. So after eight years in this business, I am assuming you're an expert at, you know, figuring out values of things and knowing what is a good quality purse or shirt or pants or whatever that is. How long did that take you to kind of right away? I've been really lucky. Yeah. <laughs> I, I really, and that's because I've been a shopper forever. Yeah. Um, but I, I am really, really proud of our, our price points. Yeah. Yeah. I really, really am. Yeah. It's not the only thing I'm, not the only thing I'm an expert at. 
Um, well, so when you say better quality, like I've been looking around, you have some Kate Spade bags. Mm -hmm. What else do you look for in a bag if somebody's got a coach, I would imagine? A vintage coach Vin oh, is, yeah. is fun. Yeah. Um, I will say it makes me sad that I we have a hard time with uh, a non-branded, right. <laughs> you know, because yeah. I have seen, especially in the beginning, people would bring me amazing Italian leather and I yeah. couldn't sell it. Wow. And it would just break. No name. No name. Was yeah. It. No Anya in here. I think that was big when I was young. That was we so popular. We, we, we still do get some, some Anya, and I put it out. Um, but it, you know, yeah. it doesn't they don't, They don't appreciate it like we did when we were young. Yeah. Uh, that was the that was 80s. Thing. That was the thing. That was older the thing. than you then because we got to the 70s. <laughs> okay. But, um, but we really, we don't, we don't yeah. even take it anymore. Yeah. It's, it's. Because that's one thing I don't want to, um, I'm going to be very transparent and I yeah. don't accept it. And cause yeah. it just doesn't, it doesn't sell. Do you recommend any, um, do, do you guys utilize any online type uh, places to sell now? Okay. Uh, so just, we don't, because yeah. we're really a one man band. Yeah. Well, like a one and a half <laughs> man band. Um, and I think that most people don't realize that. You come in here and I don't care if this is my store. It's, I'm talked about it like it's my, uh, my fifth grandchild. Um, it's a beautiful store, yeah. And I think people are shocked when I say that it's myself, my daughter. We're the ones that do ninety percent of the work. I have a couple of people that um, I have wonderful friends that help me, that volunteer, that that keep the racks looking the way they look. Oh, nice. I'm very, very, very yeah. fortunate. Um, if you ever want to come in and and make sure things are in where they're supposed to be come on in on a Wednesday or thir uh, Thursday or Friday. I appreciate that. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it's we just don't have the time. We don't have the time and the manpower. Yeah. Um, and it's hard. It's it is, Yeah, it's a lot of extra work, yeah. for sure, for sure. Um, all right, so you are open Thursday to Sunday? Nope. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Right on Main Street here in Damascus. Do you put anything online? Oh, my gosh. We're on Facebook. Style Me Sue Consignments on Facebook. Style Me Sue on Instagram. Style me Sue consignments. Formal wear, better purses, Chico's, uh, Lululemon, and Lily Pulitzer. Currently, we will take those on a walk-in basis on Thursdays and Fridays. Call, have a conversation. You might yeah. have something else that I uh, that I have to have for the store. Style me Sue. Come shop, especially if you need that fancy dress for some of those holiday parties coming up later. Um, and we really appreciate the time. I appreciate you. And I'm going to congratulate you again for your holiday. Oh. Thank you. Episode. Yeah. And thanks for having me. No problem. We're looking forward to the next hundred with great people like Sue right here. All right. Want to thank Sue. If you're looking for some formal wear or lovely bags, you can check her out. All right. Quick break. Then we're back with Brooke from Courageous Cash Foundation. And I have a recap of our adventure of watching Twisters at 40X at Regal Westview Cinemas. Right after this. Cosmec Healing handcrafted small batch tinctures and transdermal salves. Double third party tested for quality you can trust. If you've got pain, headaches, or anxiety, our products are here to help you find relief. Patient over profits mindset, because we're patients too. CosmicHealing.com. Dream Free Art, Frederick's first and only splatter room. New location, new beginner friendly artful shenanigans for all ages. Come fling paint and make a masterpiece in Dream Free Art Splatter Room, or join us for a fun and unique art experience. Book your next birthday party, corporate event, date night, or family outing at dreamfreeart.com to unleash your inner artist today. Dream Free Art. Free your creativity. And a and Construction, a local and award-winning woman and minority-owned business. They're right here in Frederick, and they service our area. a and Construction specialize in roofing and siding. They'll also take care of windows, patios, decks, and even your gutters. Call 301-703-2157 or you can email info at ansconstruction.net. Remember, you're going to get $750 off any roof or siding replacement or $50 off any roof repairs. Give Sandra a call and let her know you saw her on... Good morning, Frederick. I'm like, where Where are we? Where are we right now? We're at Good Morning Frederick. Oh, goodness. All right. Let's talk about who's doing good in our neighborhood. Doing good.
Good in the Neighborhood is sponsored by Antietam World Travel Service. Why trust Antietam World Travel Service to coordinate your vacation? It's simple. They're a full-service travel agency, and they save you countless hours of research, and they make sure everything runs seamless. They have relationships with all the suppliers to give you the best value and maybe even some perks you can't get on your own. When you work with Antietam World Travel Service, you get convenience, experience, and connections. Go to AntietamTravel.com now and get started on your dream vacation. Brooke founded Courageous Cash Foundation in honor of her grandson. There's a fundraiser in Newmarket this Saturday. Here's Brooke to share what their organization does and how you can help. One of the greatest things about Good Morning Frederick is the opportunity to learn about amazing organizations that are doing so much good in our region. And one of them is the Courageous Courageous Cash Foundation. I have the pleasure of speaking with Brooke, who is the founder of that organization. Welcome to Good Morning Frederick. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Why don't you go back and tell us a little bit about um, cash and um, the short but powerful life that he had and what led you to start this foundation? Sure. Um, so my second daughter is Emily and, and, and um, Emily has two sons and the second son is Cash. Um, we knew when Emily was pregnant um, at that 20-week scan, super important scan, that there were going to be some um, congenital heart defects, um, extensive issues that he had. Uh, so Cash was diagnosed with tetralogy of the flow with pulmonary atresia and mapgus. And um, we were kind of told early on, um, best case scenario, they would get him to maybe 13 years old. Um, but technology changes all the time. So we were like, eh, whatever, like, you know, we'll pray, we'll be diligent, we'll bring our community in. And, and we did that. So for two years, um, Cash sustained four open heart surgeries, pseudoaneurysm, strokes. He had, he honestly had so many procedures, um, um. at Johns Hopkins hospital and, um, you know, May 15th, 2023, he had a 20 hour, the number three open heart surgery. Um, and it really took a toll on his body, um, specifically his lungs. Um, and he went into the hospital on May 15th, um, 2023, and he didn't leave after that. So, you know, for the most part, we found, for the most part, we provided 24 hour day, seven day a week care for him. We had a huge rotation of family that came in. Occasionally, friends would come and help. Um, we, we had to be there. We needed to be there. We wanted to be there to learn um, about everything going on. Um, and we just found a really close connection, not only with Hopkins staff, but the other families of Heart Warriors. And oh. um, so having been there, we just know the significant amount of stress it takes on your family, not only the patient. So last summer we began doing things for other families. Uh, really was a way to kind of help us heal, yeah. help us stay focused on something positive. Uh, we found how much the other families really appreciated and needed that community support. You know, we say the heart where your family is a club you never knew about. And never want to be yeah. part. Yeah. Well, I mean, horrible. We're so sorry for the loss of your grandson and, and send our, our love to your daughter uh, and the rest of the family, because I'm sure you guys never envisioned when she was pregnant, knowing all of this terminology, uh, having this sort of experience or anything like that. So, um, you know, I think it is really, um, an amazing way to reach out and again for other families i'm sure it's uh it's a comfort so you guys actually collect money or or things to help the families who are also in this 24 7 situation yeah we do a lot um it's kind of crazy to think about um i filed the paperwork last december we backdated so our official 
you know, beginning of a 501c3 is um, November 2023. Um, Cash passed away in August of 2023. And so it was you know, we kind of kept doing things for families. Um, mm. We saw the value and the appreciation that they felt, and it also helped us. So yeah. once a month, we were traveling, bringing um, family snack bags up, and they're, they may be full of, they may have a coffee mug, a book for, to read to your child, um, different types of snacks and notes, you know, can have quite a variety of things. Um at Hopkins, there's a it's a 12 bed unit called the Pediatric Cardiac ICU. We say the PCICU, um, and so we filed the paperwork, um, you know, in December and became official. Um, there, you know, so we it hasn't even it's been nine months, right? Um, and the things yeah. that we've been doing, so we do like family snack bags packed with all that stuff I just mentioned. Um, uh, around the holidays, we hire a special visitor from the North Pole. Ah, Yeah, he comes, and actually from the Newmarket area, um, works for Frederick County Public Schools. And uh, so we bring families together that are able, right? They bring their other children, their other siblings. Um, if the Heart Warrior is available, I think last year we had um, a teenager who was going in for open heart surgery the following day. Um. We had grandparents there. So then we do a lot of games. We have dinner together. Um, we were able to buy, um, and we aim to do that again this year. Um, I, you know, it could be $20, $25 a day for parking at the hospital. If, if anybody's yeah. ever had somebody there long term, you know, it's so expensive. Um, so the, the 12 bed unit, we were able last Christmas to buy each of the families a 10 day parking pass. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's so amazing. Our, yeah. Our goal this year is um, we want to raise enough funds to buy the families there inpatient Thanksgiving, Christmas, and Easter. I think it's like $2,520. All of them in 10 day parking pass. Wow. Yeah. What a, what a great, I mean, really, it's just, um, Again, you know, when you see these organizations rise from tragedy to help others, uh, it really is an amazing gift that you're giving. So how do you guys raise money? How can Frederick help you um, in your journey to help these families? Okay, I uh, love that question. So we do a couple different things, right? We are building our events. Okay, so Saturday, September 7th. We will be at Sheer Images in Newmarket, Maryland. Um, that's the first place Cash got his haircut. And it's their five-year anniversary. And so they have invited us as a guest to help celebrate with them. Um, and so at Sheer Images, we're, we're collecting food for families. We're also collecting donations for parking passes. Cash, my daughter, my, my parents, all, you know, we're, I'm from Frederick County. And they lived... Um, in Green Valley. And so mm -hmm. at the Mount Airy Walmart, July 26, we held a pack the pantry event. Okay. Um, for those of you who don't know, the cafeteria um, and the biggest, the coffee shop Balducci's, they have closed now at Hopkins. So there's no reasonable way for families to get food unless, and, and you know, we stayed, we were there overnight, right? And so unless people are bringing you food or you're doing DoorDash, which is like, you know, Grubhub, it's like $50 a, you know, you, you just can't afford it. Wow. I didn't know that. That's crazy. Yeah. I mean, so, you know, we've had meetings with Hopkins and just trying to say, Hey, and, and, and they have said food is significantly, there's a shortage of that for our families, you know, and having been there, you don't really want to walk away, away from your kid. Yeah. Um, like you want to be there when every beep goes off, whatever. So we were honestly um, astounded um, at the at the Walmart and Mountain area on the 26th. We collected five carloads of food. Wow. That is unreal. Well done to you guys, really. I mean, I think, um, first of all, I had no idea. I mean, how crazy that there's no way to get any other food there. Um, yeah. and that's great. Okay. So September 7th, she, you're at, um, 
you're in new market, people can just bring cash donations or again, you're going to pack the pantry again too. Is that correct? Can, um, they can bring food and that'll go directly to Hopkins. Um, and they can also, they can bring cash donations. Sometimes people give that. You know, we have Venmo set up for Courageous Cash Foundation. I have a PayPal giving fund, um, and that's the nonprofit. So, you know, we have a website. We've, we've been growing our website, and so donations can go through the website. That's, a, that's amazing. Well, look, we would love to help make sure you can reach that goal for the families to get that free parking uh, for 10 days. I think that is an unreal gift for them uh, to release that burden. And uh, we are going to put this out there. And then we'd love for you to stay in touch with us as we lead toward the holidays and see what else that we might be able to do to support you. But we're definitely going to push to get as many people out to September 7th as we can. That would be amazing. So grateful for that. Yeah. Well, we appreciate you and all you're doing for all the families uh, who have to be at Hopkins for any length of time. We know how stressful and, uh, you know, how what a burden that can be for families, especially those with other kids and all of that. It's really great that you guys have all stepped up um, to uh, support your daughter uh, in this journey as well. And we wish you guys all the success in the world. Thank you. All right. Goodness. I c came in a little early on that one. Want to thank Brooke so much for that and hope that they achieve their goals of giving back to the families at Hopkins. All right. Real quick. Here is our recap of Twisters 2024. All right. Well, we're back. More glutton for punishment. We just got home from seeing Twisters. Twister's 2024 version in 4DX, thanks to Regal Westview Cinemas. I have to say, first of all, I want to thank David, the general manager at Regal Westview, uh, took care of us this evening, uh, made sure we had popcorn and drinks, and he did kick off the movie. He did. It. That's what I, an I, announcement. Mentioned, I mentioned yesterday, that there was no warnings or placards, or, you know, death could ensue, whatever the case may be. He actually came in, <laughs> gave the warning, made it a little funny. He too. did, he did. But he made sure people understood what was about to happen. Because if you've yes. never been to a 4DX movie, it is completely immersive, interactive, and very... Violent. <laughs> You keep using that term, violent. <laughs> he, he actually polled the, the crowd. He said, how many of you are, have been to a 40X before? And there was probably half that put up their hands. And yeah. I was like, that was us on Friday. But yeah, yeah. Not tonight. Yeah, we yeah. We were experienced. Yeah. So one <laughs> thing. We were prepared, but we were experienced. Yeah. This movie, I, look, I, th I think the movie was great. Oh, it's fantastic. I, did, I liked the movie yeah, itself. It was good. I'd really like to watch it again without the 4DX. So I'd that see I a can, lot more. <laughs> so that I can actually experience the whole thing without, because obviously a twister, as you can imagine, it. <laughs> I didn't even shoot any video tonight because it was, we were really all over the place, quite literally. But what did you do before, uh, so before, before the movie So before the movie started, I decided I'm going to look at the floor around all the chairs where people were and all that sort of stuff just to see how much popcorn. There was no popcorn. It was clean, <laughs> clean cinema, the way it should be. And then I was going to compare it to after the movie. Yeah. The funny part is there were two girls that were sitting right next to me and they walked in literally like 20 seconds before the movie started with, with their... a full <laughs> container of popcorn. Once the lights came back on after the movie finishes, there was about a third of the bucket of popcorn <laughs> on the floor and on their chair the and poor everywhere. staff at Regal uh, having to clean all that out. Uh, it, it, was, it was good. Even the guys with the bucket, when oh, things yeah. started, they got yeah, a little bit discombobulated. Hurry yeah. up and try and throw it in their mouth to get it down a little yeah. bit. So. so pro tip, eat your popcorn before the movie starts. The last few... Uh, previews actually stuff starts moving 
Uh, so yeah, for us it was the transformer. Yeah. One. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, I do have a little bit of a headache tonight, though. You don't feel so well. <laughs> no, I'm a little. I'm a little nauseous, a little green. And and also make sure you, if you don't think you need to go to the bathroom, go anyway. <laughs> Get rid of anything you have in the bladder because, pro tip, you need to have an empty bladder. It's a really fun experience, though. If you've never been, I recommend it. I just say, you know, it just, it just, it is, it's like riding a roller coaster for two hours. I, I, I wouldn't go and see every movie, movie as 40X. No. No. Only very special occasions. Maybe once a year. Yeah, maybe once a year. Not twice in a week. But we do, look, absolutely appreciate Regal Westview for giving me the experience because I said I'd never seen 40X and what is that? And now we know. It was it was good fun. It was good it fun. It was fantastic. And we haven't been to the movies in a long no, time. No, we, we laughed a lot. We did laugh a lot. We were laughing at ourselves more than anything. <laughs> It's a lot of fun. The movie's great, though. So if you get a chance, go see it. I noticed tonight when I was there, it's Tuesday movies, seven dollars, I yes, think. Yes. Yeah. And maybe nine dollars for the premium, which may have been. There was quite a few like people the in the IMAX theater, or something maybe. Like that, yeah. yeah. So seven dollar regular movies at Regal Westview, um, and uh, you should get out and enjoy it. So we want to thank Regal Westview for giving us a really fun experience over the last week. All right, that was fun. I did not feel well, uh, but, uh, you know, got over it. Feel fine now. All right, coming up on tomorrow's show, Rebecca Lehman from Mental Health Association of Frederick. Oh, that was a great interview. They do so much great stuff. Scott from the Learned Doctors and Made for Meteors, who were the People's Choice Band from last year's Battle of the Bands, and Dallas Smith, representing two companies, Tech Doctor and V2 Business. All right, please tell a friend about Good Morning Frederick. Have an amazing day. I hope you guys uh, are doing well. And get out there. Let's be great, Frederick. From downtown.